Not only have we seen pretty much all of Magic Mike, but we haven't seen the last of him either. And why wouldn't he do an encore? One could reasonably argue that 2012 was the year of Magic Mike, as the $7 million skin flick pulled in $167 million worldwide, was one half of a one-two box office punch that made Channing Tatum a legitimate box office star, and featured a performance by Matthew McConaughey that was so compelling, he actually got nominated for a few awards, including an Indie Spirit Award and a New York Film Critics Circle Award, the latter of which he won. So what's Magic Mike's next routine? He's got two. The first is the more obvious choice, and that's a sequel. Yes, Tatum is hard at work on Magic Mike 2, which he says will be a much bigger film than the first in terms of scope. He's also said it will be a road trip movie. Maybe they'll run into the Priscilla crew at a rest stop. But here's the real headline. Tatum is angling to co-direct along with Magic Mike scripter Reed Carolyn. That's right, Tatum is serious about you and Hollywood taking him seriously. And in a town where money gets the most respect, directing the sequel to such a profitable film is a very realistic goal. After all, as I've noted previously, Tatum was a driving force behind Magic Mike, coming up with the idea for the film, producing it, and bringing Steven Soderbergh on board, as it's based on his own days as a real-life stripper. Now, what's the other routine that Tatum has in the works? He wants to make Magic Mike the musical. The show is still in the development stage, but Tatum, Carolyn, and Soderbergh are all very serious about getting it on Broadway, where they say the show will be a fun romp and interactive. And hey, The Great White Way has a long history with nudity. Nicole Kidman and Daniel Radcliffe have famously bared all live on stage, while The Full Monty had a long run, and Naked Boy Singing has been playing off-Broadway for almost 12 years, not to mention around the world. As for the interactive angle, Hugh Jackman already had great success with that during his The Boy From Oz run, where he'd bring a female fan up on stage at each performance. And while some have sniffed that a Magic Mike musical would bring in lots of cash but no Tony Gold, let's not forget that The Full Monty was nominated for nine Tonys. Plus, never underestimate the power of Steven Soderbergh's involvement. But the biggest question is, will Tatum appear live on stage? I asked him on the red carpet for side effects, and he didn't exactly say no. I have to ask, you know, at this point, you and Soderbergh are true collaborators. Yes. Do you think he can get you on stage for Magic Mike the Musical? Uh, look, if I learn how to sing, I will absolutely do Magic Mike the Musical <laughs> on, on Broadway, but uh, I don't think you guys really want me to sing right now. <laughs> like, right now, not, so, not such a good look. Hmm, would you really care if Tatum can sing or not, if it means seeing him strip live on stage? But would you see Magic Mike the Musical, a male strip show at Broadway prices, or Magic Mike 2? Plus, have you even seen the first Magic Mike? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.